In today's video, I'm going to go over the top 5 best altcoins to hold in 2024. I'm going to explain exactly why I put most of my money into each of these projects and give you my price predictions. I'm also going to share some upcoming projects on my watch list. Those are the ones that I think will make me the most money in 2024. And even if you don't agree with my picks, make sure you watch throughout because there's a lot of alpha in this video. First on the list is Injective. Even if you're not exposed to this, it's worth paying attention to the ecosystem. It's still earlier there, there's a lot of potential for 100x's. Finding projects with good tokenomics on layer 1's is one of the easiest ways to find gems. I believe Inj is like the lunar of this cycle without of course the death spiral. It's the type of coin that just relentlessly keeps on pumping and there's two reasons for that. The first reason is the insane cult community as regular viewers know how much I talked about community being one of the main things that make coin pump. Markets are just supply and demand. You need to be able to predict whether your coin is going to have a lot of demand and if there's going to be a lot of supply here in the markets. The ideal scenario is when you have a lot of demand and very little supply. And a strong community is one of the best ways to achieve this. I'm going to use this framework to show you why a real strong community is an absolute must in any altcoin. If an altcoin doesn't have this, it's likely going to fade into irrelevancy as 10,000 new projects launch this year. So make sure you pay attention. This is what happens when you have cult believers in a coin. You have people who will literally set aside a portion of their salary to keep accumulating this project, which means it's going to have sustained demand. You also have people who form the entire social identity around the project, which increases the visibility that it has. They'll also shield the token to anyone who will listen because they truly believe in it. And that's really what keeps a project relevant. Onto the supply side, when you have true believers in a project, they don't sell every 10 to 20% pump. They wait for that dream scenario sell target and that helps keep supply off the markets. Now the second reason I'm bullish on India is they have some of the biggest names like Mark Cuban, Jump, Binance back in it. Often in crypto, you have to follow the big money. For example, in January this year, NJ announced a $150 million ecosystem fund when the market cap was just $100 million. This was probably the easiest play of 2023 if you were active. And there's going to be more opportunities like this in 2024. You just have to be patient and follow someone who's actually paying attention to this kind of stuff. I'm doing it in my Discord and there's a few others too. So if you join, you won't miss out on things like this. As for my injective price prediction, the ecosystem is still fledgling. I've studied it in depth and when it matures and gains users, it's going to lead to crazy network effects. The consensus target for injective seems to be around $500. And if you want to win in crypto, you can't do what the crowd is doing. You have to front run them. So I'd sell around $300 and take profits on the way up there. It's not unreasonable to believe that a project with this type of community can get to $30 billion in market cap. And I believe the injective ecosystem will give people lots of opportunities for 100x's. It's pretty clear that this is a main character coin at this point, And I'm going to be following the ecosystem really closely in the Discord. Next on the list is Beam. I have this as a staple part of my portfolio because I want GameFi exposure. I researched almost the entirety of crypto gaming and most of it is just poorly made cash grabs. Beam is not one of them. It has some of the biggest backers in crypto including Pantera Capital, strong tokenomics and a utility that no other gaming project can offer. One of Beam's key selling points is their treasury where they invest in other gaming projects and use their profits to support the Beam token. I believe this will emerge as one of the key gaming leaders in the bull run. When you have a project that literally dumps its competitors tokens to pump its own, it feels like a no-brainer to me. As I mentioned in my old videos on Beam, 10 to 20 billion is where I dump most of my beam, which puts the price at around 20 to 40 cents. And that's a realistic non moon boy price target. All right, before I get into the next coin, I need to warn you about something. So we've all seen this before, right? This all season money flow thing. This is basically BS now. With this next cycle, the money flow will become faster and faster and parts of this will skip entirely. Like just look at the recent price action. Where was phase two? It didn't happen at all. People's attention spans are getting short now too. They keep chasing the next shiny thing. We pretty much went from Bitcoin to shitcoin straight away. And also there's a lot more people who understand how the game works. And that means they take profit earlier, which is obviously bad for the price. Look at 2023. I'm the only one on YouTube who will tell you this. Most YouTubers will tell you that all is well and your bugs are going to go 1000x. They're feeding you opium so you keep watching them. The truth is, just like in 2023, a lot of coins will quickly become irrelevant and underperform. Crypto is an attention-based game. You need to make sure your coin has a community or something of substance that will keep it relevant. 
You need people who will keep shit in your bags for you as you sleep. But this applies more so to large shops because they need more effort and liquidity to pump the price. Number three on the list we have tier. And I know this is pumped a lot, but in a couple of minutes, I'll tell you why I think are two of the biggest upcoming projects in 2024 that you can still be able to. I made a video on tier around $4 and I knew it was going to be one of the major players of the bull run. And I said it with conviction in that video too. In fact, during this dip that we had today, the relative strength that it showed was incredible and I bought more. Quick lesson on relative strength. When you see huge dips and leverage wipeouts in the markets like today, look for coins that have long tail weeks like this. That means there was a lot of sell pressure, but the demand was so great that it completely pushed the price back up. And the tokens that have this sort of price action are likely going to go up even higher. The thesis for TA is simple. It's a brand new shiny project, good tech, no unlocks until late 2024. There's absolutely no reason why something like this wouldn't pump when you consider who's behind the project and also some of the vocal supporters that it has. Another prediction I have for 2024 is it's going to be the year where retail really starts to focusing on airdrops and gets excited after they hear stories of people making hundreds of thousands of dollars from them. And the TA ecosystem is primed with airdrops that you can get for staking tier and trying out applications. I'll make another video going over the TA airdrops, so subscribe if you want to see that. But the main point is people will keep buying tier because of these airdrops. As long as the market conditions are good and the airdrops keep printing people money, there's no reason there's not going to be a lot of demand for this token. The 17% APR that people get for staking isn't too bad either. Number four, we've got Casper. This is a culmination of everything I talked about with India regarding community. Casper has the strongest community in crypto right now. And because of what I mentioned earlier, I believe Casper is like the ADA of this cycle. A retail-led coin where the holders have absolute belief in the coin. A good thing about Casper is a lot of people still dislike it. I made a video on it a couple of days ago and there were people footing the project in the comments, which is very good. In most cases, you don't want to buy things a lot of people already like because if a lot of people already like it, that's baked into the price. And secondly, who is left to buy if a ton of people are already in? And that's exactly what made Sol do so well recently. People hated it a lot down here, which gave it the fuel it needed to pump hard as people piled in when they realized, you know what, maybe Sol isn't dead. Going against the consensus when the consensus is being irrational pays well in crypto. For a lot of crypto participants, Casper is not even on their radar. I'm in some like private trading circles and they don't even talk about Casper at all, which is good because that means a lot of people are still left to buy. As for price targets, I mentioned in my last video where I share a really intelligent way to take profits in a bull run that I'll sell a lot around a dollar and keep a moon bag for around three. Next up, we have Kooji. This is the third Cosmos token on this list. The best thing about Kooji is it's not as large of a market cap as other projects I've mentioned in this video. If we dip even more, I will accumulate this. Kooji is yet another strong community token that also benefits from that airdrop narrative. The tokenomics are particularly good with this one. 100% of the supply is already in circulation. The coming airdrops also gives people a reason to keep holding and staking it, which means a lot of supply is off the markets. One warning I do have with these Cosmos ecosystem projects is when you stake them, there's a 21 day unstaking period. And as we know in crypto, the price can go minus 50% before your coins at stake so that's something to keep in mind okay now for the upcoming gems which is what really excites me good is going to be one of the best gaming gems of this bull run i would say very few influencers have a grasp of crypto gaming like i do that's why i can say with confidence that there's not many things that can compete with Godzilla games this is pretty much everything i wanted from a gaming project they have all of their infrastructure built their own blockchain a dedicated gaming studio and a game that looks like it was made by a traditional gaming giant, as opposed to the lazily made Unreal Engine 5 stock games people are hyping up. It has serious backing with $71 million funded, a huge team, and the best part is it's not even out yet. And that means you don't have to buy influencers bags that are 7x premium. The IEO is in January, we're following this one closely in the Discord. The only risk with this is, the tokenomics have to be good when it launches. But this is the thing with crypto, every few months in crypto, VCs, for example, like with Tia, they give you a gift. They give you decently fair to economics that aren't a complete scam, at least in the short term. And you can make a lot of money by understanding that and playing it to your advantage. Let's just hope you get it with the Godzilla. For the final project in this video, we've got Monad, which is an upcoming layer one with next gen technology. I'm actually surprised how barely anyone on YouTube is talking about this. And a ton of people have never heard of it, which are two very bullish things. 
Layer 1s are going to be another major narrative of this cycle because of Ethereum's gas fees issues, which frankly aren't going away. Monad is actually very intelligent in the way it's built a real organic community around it already, without even having a token. And I believe this token is going to be one that makes a lot of people very rich in this bull run. The founders are literally ex-jump traders, so that means they would know how to make a token pump. Join the Discord if you want to stay up to date with projects like this. I have a real focus on finding things before they become mainstream in that Discord, before everyone is talking about it, because that's really how you make the most money in crypto, by being early. Portfolio, I always like to have this methodology when it comes to how I structure it. It's 80 to 90% in strong community core positions, and then 20 to 20% reserved for DGEN 100Xs. And I'm going to start saying this in every video to do it to my audience. The best way to get crypto is deeply research and understand three to five projects, put most of your money in, and then hold on for dear life. That's how you get rich. Not by buying 25 alts, influencers are shilling you every month. And I know these tokens that I've mentioned in this video won't have the most exciting upsides because they're large caps. But I can sleep at night holding these with large sums of money in them because I know these communities will keep it relevant and because I believe the ecosystems of these projects will have gems inside of them. Most ecosystem tokens are worthless, but if you understand how to play them, you can make a lot of money. As I outlined earlier, relevancy will be key in 2024. I actually want to consolidate my picks even further. My dream is to have three alts total with 30% of my net worth in each of them. It's going to take a lot of hard work and research, but I'm going to do it. If you're somebody who's working a full-time job, you don't really know which tokens are good, which tokens are bad, and you haven't got the time to research them. Then just leverage me, subscribe to me, join my Discord, because I'm full-time in this 18 hours a day, so it's likely that I'll be able to find the best ones. So just to recap, these five tokens are the ones I hold most of my money in. And just a disclaimer, I'm on the hunt for even better risk reward plays, and this portfolio can change if I find better opportunities, but as I said, I'll keep you up to date on this channel and in the Discord. And just to conclude this video, should you go and buy these tokens now, I would wait for people to start seriously doubting if you're in a bull market and then add heavily. If you're looking to deploy cash, then wait, be patient because some of the best projects of this cycle aren't even out yet as I mentioned. When I find them, I'll share them in the Discord and I really will lock this server soon so make sure you join before it does. The link is in the description and in the pinned comments. Thanks for watching.